Hello, Peter Balker here and welcome to today's edition of The Transition Guy. Now today I want to talk to you about management buyouts and why it's so important, actually critical, that you have a good lever, bad lever clause in the agreement. So what's a good lever, bad lever clause? Like anything, when you're starting to look at offering shares to people in the business, it's all done in good faith. But ultimately, you cannot expect that once you start giving away, once you start giving away equity, i.e., you start allowing people to buy in equity, you can't expect them to stay there forever. It happens all the time where people eventually do transition out and go into move on to different different things. Sometimes it's bigger and better things. Sometimes people choose to retire depending on what their age is. However, when people do move on, you either have one or two instances. Now, if someone is a good lever where they've added massive value to the business and it's time for them to now go and do other things, they still remain a shareholder in the business, which means that while everyone else is working to build value in the business, that person still benefits. In that kind of situation, having a good lever on board that still retains their shares in the business is absolutely the right thing to do because they move up now into investor level. So they have no right saying in the day-to-day running the business but they're still part of the strategic decision making at ownership level. Now where you have a bad lever, now that bad lever may have underperformed, fallen out of love with the company, not necessarily operated in a way that's conducive and expected of someone at that level. Now the last thing you want to do is have someone like that leave the company but still have shares in the business because you're then generating a lot of resentment from people that are still there working their backside off, that have invested in the business to actually make somebody else wealthy that perhaps they don't believe is worthy of that because at the end of the day they haven't upheld their end of the bargain. Yeah, they've left us a bad lever, which means something hasn't quite worked out. And the last thing you want is a management team continuously working with a bad taste in their mouth because all that would do will cause further complications. And I've had a number of instances with clients where actually we've had people leave at board level where during the management buyout process, they actually didn't want that clause in there and they refused to buy in because they didn't want to have the bad lever clause. At the end of the day, no one sets out when they sort of do a management buyout for people to fall out, that for things to go wrong. But unfortunately, it does happen and we have to be prepared for every single eventuality. So have you had any experience with management buyouts? Have you perhaps had the bad lever situation where actually they've left, they've still got equity in the business, they didn't necessarily uphold their end of the bargain and actually you're feeling absolutely peeved at this fact that you've given away equity to somebody that you wouldn't have normally given away knowing what you know now. If so, love to hear your comments in the space below. If you need any help around sort of management buyouts, you're looking at, okay, well, how would we practically put this into action in our business? By all means, head over to balker.com and get in touch. If you've had a lot of value out of today's episode, please do me a favor, share it with others. Please spread the word, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our weekly updates. And finally, remember, failing to learn is learning to fail. Please stay safe.